what is data science? Let's start with some of the common definitions that's doing the rounds. Some say that data science is a powerful new approach for making discoveries from data. Others term it as an automated way to analyze enormous amounts of data and extract information from it. Still others refer to it as a new discipline which combines aspects of statistics, mathematics, programming, and visualization to gain insights. Now that you have looked at some of its definitions, let's learn more about data science. When domain expertise and scientific methods are combined with technology, we get data science which enables one to find solutions for existing problems. Let's look at each of the components of data science separately. The first component is domain expertise and scientific methods. Data scientists should also be domain experts as they need to have a passion for data and discover the right patterns in them. Traditionally, domain experts like scientists and statisticians collected and analyzed the data in a laboratory setup or a controlled environment. The data was then subject to relevant laws or mathematical and statistical models to analyze the data set and derive relevant information from it. For instance, they used the models to calculate the mean, median, mode, standard deviation, and so on of a data set. It helped them test their hypothesis or create a new one. In the next slide, we will see how data science technology has now made this process faster and more efficient. But before we do that, let's understand the different types of data analysis, an important aspect of data science. Data analysis can either be descriptive, where one studies a data set to explain what happened, or be predictive, where one creates a model based on existing information to predict the outcome and behavior. It can also be prescriptive, where one suggests the action to be taken in a given situation using the collected information. We now have access to tools and techniques that process data and extract the information we need. For instance, there are data processing tools for data wrangling. We have new and flexible programming languages that are more efficient and easier to use. With the creation of operating systems that support multiple OS platforms, it's now easier to integrate systems and process big data. Application designs and extensive software libraries help develop more robust, scalable, and data-driven applications. Data scientists use these technologies to build data models and run them in an automated fashion to predict the outcome efficiently. This is called machine learning, which helps provide insights into the underlying data. They can also use data science technology to manipulate data, extract information from it, and use it to build tools, applications, and services. But technological skills and domain expertise alone, without the right mathematical and statistical knowledge, might lead data scientists to find incorrect patterns and convey the wrong information. Now that you have learned what data science is, it will be easier to understand what a data scientist does. Data scientists start with a question or a business problem. Then they use data acquisition to collect data sets from the real world. The process of data wrangling is implemented with data tools and modern technologies that include data cleansing, data manipulation, data discovery, and data pattern identification. The next step is to create and train models for machine learning. They then design mathematical or statistical models. After designing a data model, it's represented using data visualization techniques. The next task is to prepare a data report. After the report is prepared, they finally create data products and services. Let us now look at the various skills a data scientist should have. Data scientists should ask the right questions for which they need domain expertise, the curiosity to learn and create concepts, and the ability to communicate questions effectively to domain experts. Data scientists should think analytically to understand the hidden patterns in a data structure. They should wrangle the data by removing redundant and irrelevant data collected from various sources. Statistical thinking and the ability to apply mathematical methods are important traits for a data scientist. Data should be visualized with graphics and proper storytelling to summarize and communicate the analytical results to the audience. To get these skills, they should follow a distinct roadmap. 
It's important they adopt the required tools and techniques, like Python and its libraries. They should build projects using real-world data sets that include data.gov, NYC Open Data, Gapminder, and so on. They should also build data-driven applications for digital services and data products. Scientists work with different types of data sets for various purposes. Now that big data is generated every second through different media, the role of data science has become more important. So you need to know what big data is and how you are connected to it to figure out a way to make it work for you. Every time you record your heartbeat through your phone's biometric sensors, post or tweet on the social network, create any blog or website, switch on your phone's GPS network, upload or view an image, video, or audio. In fact, every time you log into the Internet, you are generating data about yourself, your preferences, and your lifestyle. Big data is a collection of these and a lot more data that the world is constantly creating. In this age of the Internet of Things, or IoT, big data is a reality and a need. Big data is usually referenced by three Vs, volume, velocity, and variety. Volume refers to the enormous amount of data generated from various sources. Big data is also characterized by velocity. Huge amounts of data flow at a tremendous speed from different devices, sensors, and applications. To deal with it, an efficient and timely data processing is required. Variety is the third V of big data because big data can be categorized into different formats, like structured, semi-structured, and unstructured. Structured data is usually referenced to as RDBMS data, which can be stored and retrieved easily through SQLs. Semi-structured data are usually in the form of files like XML, JSON documents, and NoSQL database. Text files, images, videos, or multimedia content are examples of unstructured data. In short, big data is a very large information database usually stored on distributed systems or machines popularly referred to as Hadoop clusters. But to be able to use this database, we have to find a way to extract the right information and data patterns from it. That's where data science comes in. Data science helps to build information-driven enterprises. Hey, want to become an expert in big data? Then subscribe to the Simply Learn channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in big data, click here.